Having your protein skimmer dialed in and running at peak performance is important for proper nutrient removal. This video is referring to a skimmer that is already running on an aquarium. A protein skimmer adjusted correctly will have a dense, off-colored foam throughout the whole neck, resulting in a dark skimmate collecting in the cup. The first step in being able to dial in your skimmer correctly is to make sure it is in a suggested sump water level by the manufacturer. Waterbox Aquarium sumps are designed for the skimmer chamber to run at 8.5 inches water height, which is perfect for the NIOS Quantum skimmers, which we use and recommend, as well as most other brands. If your sump level is not within correct range, adjust appropriately either by adjusting sump water level or raising your skimmer. Dialing in your protein skimmer is achieved by water level and air intake adjustments. Usually, you can keep the air intake fully open and adjust only the water level inside the skimmer. If you have clear wet foam in the neck of your skimmer that collects light colored liquid in the cup, this means that your water level inside is too high. Turn your water level valve towards the open position. Remember to make small adjustments and allow ample time in between each change. Continue to adjust until the water level in the skimmer is at the base of the neck and only dense foam is in the neck itself. If your skimmer neck is collecting layers of gunk but not much makes it into the cup, then the water level is running too low in the skimmer body. While running like this still does provide nutrient removal, it is not as effective as a well dialed in skimmer. In this case, you want to slowly adjust your water level to the closed position. This will raise the water level inside the skimmer, make small adjustments, and allow time between changes. Continue to adjust until the water level of the skimmer is at the base of the neck and only dense foam is in the neck itself. You will find that your skimmer may temporarily stop foaming properly after things such as feeding fish or coral, adding products like amino acids or medications. Normally after adding food or additives to your aquarium, the foam will collapse in the skimmer for a few hours but then return to normal. When using medications, check instructions carefully as many will advise turning off your protein skimmer as it may cause the skimmer to overflow the cup. Taking the time to dial in your protein skimmer to run its optimal performance level will have a big impact on keeping your aquarium nutrient levels lower.